What's up? Hey, we're going to fix some bugs today and um, getting closer and closer to the game's launch this summer. And um, man, it's really great to get all these bugs fixed. It's like feels so good. I've been playing the game every night and um, just making sure I didn't, you know, break anything else by uh, fixing bugs. But it's taking a lot of these things that break the the magic. You know what I mean? Like when you're playing a game, <clears throat> something happens, it breaks your magic flow. That's the kind of thing that's getting fixed. It's so good. Salad, what's up, man? How you been lately? Oh boy. So the first thing I'm gonna try, I fixed the bug this morning where um it um when you when you would blink no when you killed Jib, um he went to the wrong position when you actually when you drank something too so if you drank like a out of the flat or the cup, Jib would like get all glitchy and jittery and go to zero zero, and I think that might have fixed this other thing so I can use pathfinding when the heroes are moving to the next area. What's up, Guri Toro? Do you have a beta tester accessible bug list? You mean just a bug list? I have a bug list, yeah. You've been alright? Nice, man. How, uh, how's your, um, did you do that summer, um, semester? Here's the bug list, though, if you're <clears throat> interested in taking a look. Um, you can comment on them, I think, by default by the public, but I don't think you can create new bugs. But you can at least comment if you have any comments. Or, But if you do have bugs you want to submit, Guru Toro, you can just um, email me as well. And it says that at the very beginning of the game. It just says, email me at nat at wizardfoo. Oh, it's the last week. Whoa. So you got, like, finals and stuff? What's up, Biter Kid? The hat got stuck on the entrance. Really? Okay, what I need to know is, um, man, it's been so long since I've seen that bug happen before. But I've seen that happen before, so I know what's going on there. Um, but so I, what I need to know is what um, what dungeon you're in and what um, what world seed you're on. And all you got to do is pause the game, and you can see that information. So you could just send me a screenshot, and that would be enough. So let me show you what I mean. It takes extra long to compile everything when I'm streaming. <clears throat> so yeah, you just pause the game and then it says in the upper left corner, my world seat here is wizard and the location I'm at is 543. All I need are those two details and I can fix that top hat bug and you can just either email me or what, whatever. Or share it right now if you don't happen to know where you were at. Zyinger, did I did a speed run, yes. How you doing, man? I did a speed run. I did not record that, but I am intending to do a recorded speed run. I'll probably do it live on a stream. So I've been practicing. I've been practicing my speed run of the World Seed Wizard, and my first attempt, I got an hour and 30. So I'm, it's definitely possible to beat Songbringer really fast, and I know, I know that speedrunners will be able to get it definitely under an hour. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to practice and keep on practicing my speed run, and then um, I'll do a live stream of it when it's ready. You notice that when fusing the hat with something, Rock won't take out the hat during the process. Well, what do you mean by that? Um, you mean take off the hat? Oh, yeah, he doesn't take off the hat. That's a good point. I think that's what you mean, right? I'm going to add that to the bug list. Um, Rock doesn't take off the hat when crafting it. That's a pretty simple, well, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and say that's simple, but it's probably not like every other bug. Okay, cool, man. It's, it's BDQ. Oh man, I, I caught some really cool videos. Did, you, did anybody catch some good ones this week with GDQ? No, I did not use God mode. 
I did not use God mode or any cheats whatsoever. The only th the only thing I did that was kind of cheating was I looked at the map first, right? I planned out my route. I'm like, okay, here's World World Seed Wizard. How am I going to do this? So I do have this information. This is really great. But doesn't every speedrunner have like good information about their world first? They've at least played it. They at least kind of have a, maybe a map. So this really helped. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go to one, two, and then over here, three, five, six. I, I took the shortest route through every dungeon. That was the secret. Short dungeons. How you guys been? Oh my gosh, I saw a really great speed run of... Yeah, Super Panga World, that's what I was about to say. Wasn't that the best? I think that was my favorite, um, my favorite run of all of GDQ this time was Super Panga World. It was so great. If anybody is like into these speed runs, you should definitely check this one out. It was like about half an hour long. They had estimated it would take him about an hour because Super Panga World is this mod of Super Mario World that is just crazy hard. It's like the most difficult Mario you've ever, ever seen. And um, great commentary. The three commenters were so, so great. And then the runner, Dodecahedron, he was like amazing. So amazing. Like the most, one of the most talented, I'm sure, players of Super Mario World in the universe. And it was funny. That was definitely cool. I, I felt really lucky because I was like, I just sat down. I was like, I had a, my my vaporizer all loaded up with my favorite marijuana. Just sat down and that run was starting. It happened to be the coolest run I saw all week. That was so sweet. Okay, um, I'm going to get into fixing some bugs while we're on the stream here. Um, there's this one bug, like I said, that got fixed today, which might have enabled. Here it is, yeah. Try to do this pathfinding. Okay. Yeah, so this bug with the pathfinding is that um, it just didn't work. It was doing this weird glitching whenever the whenever the second hero was trying to pathfind. Let's just enable this shortly and see what happens. I think what I need to do is use this function called manual move hero, which will interpolate positions between a bunch of different, uh, like a, I can create a vector of positions that the hero is supposed to move along, and then it will walk between those. This is in phase slide begin. Yeah, why is this the, all there is to this? I thought there was more. Hmm. Anyways, I think this will work. I'll need Vel. Go somewhere like uh, here. Yeah, so happy Sunday. I hope everybody's having a nice, relaxed weekend. I'm kind of sad the GDQ's over. I'm like, damn, what am I going to watch now on Twitch? I got to find some more Twitch stuff to watch. Okay, oh, I'd have a bell. Oh. Okay, here's Vel now. If I okay, if I get her like up here in somewhere where she's gonna clip. Okay, yeah, this is just not working. Oh, you saw Evo. Evo, how was that? One of your favorites. That's cool. I love seeing my favorites, right? From when I was a kid, too. So good. That's why I'm always such a fan of the Super Metroid runs. Like, this is this. I love Super Metroid. Okay, so we need to mimic the way the manual move hero works. Oh, right. Okay, it just moves. 
You can call manual move hero in during the animates, all right? But you just have to create the positions first, and this is just a vector of V3Fs. Set them up. Here's this it's getting set up for jib, and then you call manual move hero for the, the second hero, whatever. I'm not sure if, I know I've heard of this game, but I don't know if I've ever really, like, I don't think I've played it. Yeah, what's that? Whoa, yeah, I've never played this. I'll have to check out this run. You start out as a fish? I'm crazy. Whoa. You got meditation, you went to a place entering from the top side, and then there was a horn with something like an axe walking toward me. Oh. Are you, sh was it, okay, was it this guy? Let me see what. Okay, were you, yeah, this is not a bug. This is a, I don't think this is a bug. Uh, that's not, uh, that's not zero either. I think what this is, is this, the guitarist guy. And he's meant to do all that stuff. <clears throat> Let me open up a picture of this guy and let me let's see if we're talking about the same guy. This guy, right? He looks like it would look more like this on on your screen. Yeah, this is a, this guy's all meant to be. Um, what happens is if you, if you follow him, there's a secret you can find. And this has nothing to do with meditation. Um, it's just an area on the overworld that which which this guy hangs out at, and if you get to his area, he's got a secret for you. Yeah, sometimes. Well, if you got to follow it off of the way it's going too, so like keep following it, keep going until you until you get to where it, yeah. And it has to happen at that certain moment. Like sometimes the time matters. So what time of day it is in the game matters. So that secret can close and open. So yeah, once you, when you see that guy, you want to follow him if you want his secret. He'll he will vanish off the edge of the screen. That's kind of what he's he meant. He's meant to walk off the edge of the screen. And if he happens to be walking where where you are, he'll just walk right through you. I know I know that is kind of an issue, but it's really the 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 least baddest, <laughs> the least worst solution to that. Okay, so for fa this is phase slide. So we need a um, map of EIDs to vectors, V3Fs. So we're going to store a bunch of arrays. For the heroes in the face slide so they can pathfind. Oh, right. Yeah, I know it's not in a 2D game, is it? It was scary. You're like, oh, my God, he's walking through me. Yeah, it's like basically what 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 is the worst way to do that is if you if he did have like collision in a bunch of areas it, it made him so he would have to he would get stuck on stuff and it made him get stuck on so much stuff that it made him worse than if he just was passed right through you and it wasn't something that I was like okay I'm gonna work an entire day just to make sure he work he moves perfectly 
just to get this working. I'm like, let's just go for the simple solution here because I can't spend another week like working on this one little secret guy. It's not even supposed to take that much time, you know? Okay, so at the beginning of phase slide, every time we need to clear the old Hero positions. Oh, it felt weird. Cool. Right, yeah, yeah. Maybe something I can revisit after launch. Like, okay, let's get this so he doesn't ever walk through the hero. Yeah, me too. I love secrets. Love secrets so much. I put a lot of them in this game. I wish if I had another year, I would keep just making secrets and stuff. I love I love secrets so much. But alas, this game has to come out sometime, right? Y'all want to play this game, don't you? Okay, what's this first part about here? P dot first. What's P? Uh, let's see every bit of the path. It's adding in. Offsided by the old area's position. I guess that works. Okay, so we're pushing back hero positions for this current hero. Push back. Um old area dot get oh, I don't know if this will work because this won't or maybe it will get tile pause for XY let's see if this works cool man what do you do for work So does get top pause, does that work if that's a negative value? Um, that's number two. Oh yeah, okay, that'll work. Great. All right, why is that? Oh, expected semicolon. Okay, and then to, to finish this off, for the slides animate, Sometimes the heroes move manually. Oh, that's right. Oh, you code in Delphi. That's right. You changed your name though, so it confused me. That's cool. I love how I love how a lot of us here on these streams, streams like this and stuff. This stream in particular, y'all are coders too. It's sweet. I love um, I love that we all have a lot in common. We can relate. That's why I do these streams. I can relate to y'all. Okay, so manually move this hero with Hero positions h dot id int i Oh sweet, you added a gift capture? 
Nice. That's cool. How's it working for you? Gift capture is great. You gotta, it's like really helps when you wanna do your own screenshots. Even um, the, the guy that I love his screenshots, all his gifts, um, he makes Megasphere, Anton Kadin. He recently finally just added his own screen capture gift thing to his own game. He's like, wow, this is better than using the tools I used to use. So it's definitely worth it to do that. How do you get I? Uh, it's just an int ref. A. Oh no, here it is, split alpha. Oh, so we gotta set alphas. Nice. Okay, so here's where, wait, now here, each of the durations, flux duration equals this set alpha. So we just need to set alphas. And setting alphas, actually pretty simple. Once we have a list of all the Um, all the hero positions we can loop over even just the first one We'll make a vector of doubles. Born to snipe, what's up, man? <clears throat> How you been? What's going on? Yes, I've switched, well, Sort of. This is just Vim. But yeah, it kind of it's its own IDE at this point. So durations dot pushback. Do we need a duration for each one? Yeah. And they need to be divided by pushback flux duration over P2 second size. Wait, P2 first? No, P1 dot second dot size. You doing well? Nice. Yeah, things are really great, man. Um, I'm just making my, my, this is my dream game, you know? I say this every time, but I am. I'm really just making my dream game and things, it makes me happy. It makes me really happy to just be creative and um, especially when that creativity is something that really means something to me and so making a video game for me is really meaningful because it incorporates so many different kinds of art. I love, I love making the pixel art. I love making the programming. I figure, I feel that's like art to me. I love the music. I love making the music. I love telling the story, storytelling. Hell, even business is sort of an art in a way. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if you heard, but Songbringer's coming out this summer, um, like basically towards the end of the summer. We'll have, an, we'll have a release date announcement pretty soon. And um, if you hadn't heard already, it's also coming into PlayStation 4 and Xbox, as well as Steam. Oh, and then after this, 
Um, this set alphas durations. Thanks, yeah. All right, now we go I and I think A. Whoa. Oh, no, I tried to compile the internet again. Uh, what happened? I saw you guys were chatting, and then all of a sudden it just went, ugh. Sorry about that. I missed your chat messages again. My shortcuts are sometimes not fast enough. I press a shortcut and then it doesn't happen until the next window and then it kills it kills it I'm sorry I killed it and not the good killing it like killing it with Paul Crick I'm just I totally tried to compile the internet and it it worked it, com it worked so well it destroyed the internet <laughs> that could take a while <laughs> yeah it definitely could take a while What's with this? 1926 is somehow... Uh, whoa. Twelve eighty? I, hey, yeah, yeah, this looks good. Ah. Uh. Yo, Kavani, what's up, man? Yes, yes, yes. The Russian translation. Oh, so, um, man, I hadn't heard from you in a long time. So I figured you weren't doing the Russian translation anymore. So I um, I didn't tell you. But yes, um, since Double Eleven is handling all the console ports now... Um, yeah, so basically my publisher is handling all that, and they and there's some really strict requirements that Sony and Microsoft have about the this translations, and everything has to be, there's like technical requirements for all of it. So for them to pass their technical requirements and get Songbringer on PlayStation and Xbox, um, they basically has to have, they have to have a really, really tight, like, translation that's part of it all. So it's kind of up to them to do the translations at this point. And sorry I didn't email you about it. I figured you were you were not doing it anymore. So yes, they've basically taken over and they're going to be doing the Russian translation. So I hope it I hope it reads well. Do let me know if there's any if there's any issues with it. Let me know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you're looking for work? Okay, let's see what happens this time. Oh no, it didn't work. Okay, right, well, we'll push back. Let's take a look at this here. We'll set a breakpoint.
What's up, Scrub Wallet? Riss? Hello. Hello, Leroy Grand. I don't know what. Sorry, I can't read. Okay, so I'm going to take a look at the vector that I created for... So basically what we're trying to do here is make Vel pathfind when she's catching up. See how she would clip through these trees right here? I'm making it so she can pathfind around these trees during this slide transition. And this is all made possible by a bug fix from this morning. I'm just seeing if this were possible to make this work. Um, if it's not going to be possible within like the next 15 minutes, I'm just going to put it on pause and work on something else. So this doesn't take too long. It made 161 positions. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, that's one big problem. The durations are only supposed to be for one of them, so it's supposed to break after this. Um, okay. Sorry, I don't know what you're saying. Hero positions. Yeah, okay, so it's the right id, and she has 22 different positions. Let's take a look at what these are. Negative 4, 10, 0. Is that anywhere near right? 4, 10, 0. 4, 10, 0. Okay, that's got to be wrong. It's just... Are these all 4, 10, 0? This does explain it. Totally explains it. Okay, so every one of those positions that got pushed back was maybe the first one or something. Oh, this is supposed to be plus equals, so this is p. p dot first, p dot second. All right, so running it again with the same thing where we got a break point here. taking so long. Okay, so let's get her so she would kind of clip through the wall, move off the screen. And this time, hero positions. Yes, there we go. Negative 410, 156. That's I think that's wrong. 410 is too much. Four it should be more like negative 20 or something. X times equals all area that width. Oh, right. Add compass direction. Opposite direction of exit. Huh. Four, negative 410, that doesn't seem right at all. But then she is getting a negative 170, negative 90, 
negative 50. Uh, no, this is not quite the final version. Really? It's not edited at all? What do, what do you mean? Can you give me an example? But if I let this run, this might actually work. Let's see, let's get to here. Check out hero positions, durations. Okay, good. This time durations is 21, and each one of these is 0 0.0467 or something. All right, let's run that. See what happens. Oh, no. Phil's like invisible or off screen. Or maybe she's just off screen. Yeah, now she's just invisible. She's gone. Oh, she's down there. I think she's off screen. So the last position always has to be, this is the good path, you look through all this. The last hero position needs to be where, where they intend to end up. We're pathfinding from H. Yeah, Dest. Here, we'll add one. Hero positions h.id pushback new hero pause h.id So there, now we have at least the last position should be good. Okay. Okay. Ah, okay. 
Cool. Let me um let me at least take a take some notes on this um, example you're giving me right here. And I will email the guys at Double Eleven and see what what they have to say about that. So I'm taking a note. I'll definitely let them know. Thank you. Oh, we already had an A. There. We don't need first time. Compiling is so slow right now. It's game show. Ah, this is that bug. Sometimes game show does this, so the rest of this stream is gonna be hella slow compiling. Cause there's no way to fix this. Usually game show uses like 60% of a CPU, but sometimes it just eats up almost 200%, so it's like eating up both cores. And there's no way to fix it. So either I stop the stream or I just deal with the slow compiles all the rest of today's stream. <clears throat> slow compiles. Yay! I love it when it takes 41 seconds to compile one file. That's great. Okay, so here we are. Get it to move right. It still doesn't move right. Ah, my. Wait a minute, before I do this. Okay. 
Maybe it's her Z position. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. It's downloading an entire new version of the internet. It's Internet 3.0. Just to be explicit here, I'm setting Z to zero in case that was what it is. I, that's probably... I'm sure this is close. But really, I'm sitting here open, just like banging my head against the wall with the compile this slow. I should probably work on easier stuff, I guess. Okay, well, I can set a breakpoint there and see when it actually starts to move her and inspect some of her variables and try to figure out why. But yeah, this would probably be the last time I run this and try this right now. Dad? Hello? Dad, hello. Oh, stubbed my toe this morning. Hero positions. Okay, we got. I know this is wrong. It's got to be wrong as far as the X values go. She's getting close. Well, see, that's wrong too. Her new hero pause at the very end should be like... Oh yeah, I guess that is her new hero pause. Hmm. Okay. That's wrong. That's, she should at least have her ending position. Okay, I guess another breakpoint would be helpful right there. Because that last position should be should be in the area. Oh, 
Oh man, this is painstakingly slow. Oh, driving me crazy. This is what making this game would have been like in like 1995 with old computers. What? Oh, I think this has to happen later. Because later it goes create new area and then it goes sync the other heroes. Oh, here it is. Yeah, so her, her new position gets adjusted here. It synchronizes the other heroes and makes sure they're in the right positions. And then after it's got that good position where the, the hero is supposed to end up, that's when it can successfully pathfind. So we will need a few breakpoints. This is a static member function, damn. Ah, I guess I can pass in a reference to this array. No, I mean, map id vector d3f.
All right, well, we need a break point. Uh, that's partial. Yeah, just partial dam partial damage protection. Not entirely. It's like armor. It basically just gives you a little bit of Son of a bitch. Okay, that's that's just not gonna work. Could make a separate function, I guess, for this. Okay, so we'll set two things. Did path find false and hero position is not clear at the very beginning of this. And then here. Did path find return. Then did path find true. So now all this is contained into one one method. And then face slide animate. We can do this. This. I find heroes. Oh, man.
Okay. Forty seconds, it normally takes about ten. Okay, here we go. Pathfinding. Alright, compass direction. So x is negative 1, that's the direction it was. I guess that makes sense. So we're going to get path. This is path. This is the walk from. So we're starting at 0 on the x. 13, that can't be right. 1, 13. Yeah, that's my fan. So, um, my fan's going off because of this, because the CPU is going so hot. So, yeah, you're hearing the fan noise. which is slowing me down so much. This is painful. This is very painful. When a build should take about five to 10 seconds and it's taking like 40 to 50, it's crazy. I'm kind of getting a picture. So the X's are wrong here. And then it's going to add to that path negative 21. Oh, see, that's totally wrong. So that should be just... Oh, is that what that is? Well, whatever's going on, I know, I know game show is the heart of it. Oh, wait, so this should not be opposite compass direction anymore. Oh, really? Oh, I haven't done that. How does that help? This gets like, it gets not as hot, I imagine. It's trying to throttle itself because it's too hot, I imagine. Yeah, 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 it's a good idea. So where would I actually blow at? <laughs> How do I blow my laptop? Yeah, definitely. It's a really good call. I need to get one of those little like air spray things. Just blow the shit out of it. 
That's what I gotta do. Oh wow, wait, it kinda worked. Oh, it didn't that time. Now she's gone, no, oh, she's gone. Okay, I'll get this working. Yeah, the underside at the edges. Okay, okay, that's where, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that on this. I think I see what, are, what you're talking about, these little vents. Cool, I'll definitely do that. Oh, okay, good to know. Uh-huh. Oh, okay, right, right. That would make sense. Why the dust accumulates here on the out. I thought I had one of those little air compressor mini can things. I'm trying to remember. I don't think I do. I gotta buy some of that. Well, yeah, this is freaking driving me crazy here. Really? Oh, see, that's what I was thinking. Maybe I should actually try and stick a, like a... Uh, like a toothpick in there. Yeah, yeah, a toothpick. I'll try that. But yeah, man, this is so, this is driving me so, so crazy, I'm just going to stop the stream. Like, I can't, I can't keep coding like this. I can't wait an entire minute to, for it to run the, the game every time. So I'm gonna close the stream down so Game Show can stop eating 200% of the CPU. Sorry, it was this was kind of a short stream and I really didn't get anything accomplished. But yeah, I will. I will. All it'll take is just me stopping this stream and it'll work again. Yeah. So cheers, you guys. Good luck on everything, and we'll see y'all next time.